good morning guys welcome back to my channel i feel like it's been forever since i vlogged and i'm so excited to be vlogging today you guys just saw my workout at 45 i took a 7 a.m class i've been doing my morning workouts per usual and this one was inside it was a strength day but i think it incorporated a bunch of different things so i filmed that for you guys you guys will see that probably in the before this so anyways like i said it's tuesday and i'm working today but i figured i would do like a little daily vlog after i'm finished working and before so it is 7.44 right now. I'm gonna stop my watch. I never forget to do that. I actually, oh my God. Okay, so this morning I woke up at like six o'clock and made myself a coffee, my new little porter mug, which is like my favorite, by the way. Made myself an espresso and I am still tired because my dog, Dash, kept me up so, so late last night, you guys. So he's doing this thing lately where he wakes up at two and three in the morning to go out, which I understand because he's a puppy, he's a small bladder. We have to let him out during the night. He wakes us up at two or three every single night to go outside, whatever. We take him outside, we come back in, and then he's riled up and wants to play. It's like, dude, it's 2 a.m., we're going to sleep. And then he doesn't want to go back in his crate. Like I've mentioned before, we're crate training him, and he gets excited, he wants to come in the bed, but we're trying not to get him to sleep in the bed with us. I love him, but my sleep schedule sucks. But that's okay. So anyways, he had us up at 2, went back to bed at like 2.30. Then I checked on him around like 3, 3.30. And then my alarm went off at 6 to go to where I work out at 7. So needless to say, I'm exhausted. This one espresso I had literally did nothing. So I'm going to go and treat myself and get a little Starbucks because I'm exhausted. And I have a super busy day with work. Yeah, I need to start that in like half hour, 40, 45 minutes. So... I need to get some coffee. That awkward moment when the line starts from over there, but my workout class was behind me. So I came into Starbucks this way 
and I feel like all these cars are not about to let me in even though I was here after that car. <laughs> The guy was nice enough to let me in also you guys i got a car mount which you saw maybe in like two or three vlogs ago but it's kind of annoying to put on because you have to put it on the windshield and it's just like very time consuming and i'm being lazy and just like setting my camera on the dashboard it came with something though that you can put on the dashboard that's sticky that i think it stays on there permanently and then it sticks opposed to going on the windshield so i'm gonna get that and put that on my car so that way every time i'm in the car you guys are not like shaking <laughs> okay what am i getting to drink can I please have a small hot coffee, a blonde roast? We call hot blonde roast, anything else? Can I have steamed almond milk in that with cinnamon sprinkle? Pop one. We're going to add some cinnamon powder in that. We're going to steam one. Do you add anything else? Nope, that's all, thank you. I'm actually so proud of myself because I've been making coffee home the last, I want to say few months. I've been really good by not going to Starbucks. When quarantine started, Matthew and I went literally every single day as like a little treat. And then I realized how much money I was spending on Starbucks when I had so much coffee at home and an espresso at home. So this is my first time being at Starbucks in a really long time, like a few months, I want to say. Maybe not a few months, that's a little aggressive. Maybe like a month and a half that's a little bit more realistic so I've been making more coffee at home just because I have the means to you know like I shouldn't get coffee out unless it's more of like a treat so today I got a new order I got like some steamed almond milk and just a regular coffee with some cinnamon so we'll see how that is everybody's been getting the pumpkin spice latte or the pumpkin spice cold brew I'm just not a pumpkin spice kind of gal that stuff is like so so sweet but I've heard it's really good hey, how's it going? hi good how are you are you just as cold as I am? Oh, freezing. Yeah. But I just took a workout class, so that's why like I'm in a bra. Yeah, you're just <laughs> <laughs> probably like, what is this girl doing? Like, what the hell is this girl up to? Yeah, no. I took a workout class at 45, so. Oh, word. Yeah. How was it? Right over there. It was good. Yeah, yeah, really good. Do you pump the blood or whatever they say? Oh yeah. Pumping blood. Yeah. It was pump, great. Pump the blood. Now I'm getting my Starbucks treat. Now you sound like Thank a you. Oh yeah. <laughs> Have a good Have day. Bye bye. Aw, that guy was so nice. Don't you just love happy workers? Like, they just make your day so much better. So sweet. All right, let's try not to hit anybody here. Mmm, this coffee smells so good. Dash, this coffee goes out to you because you made your mother stay up all night. <laughs> all right, let's do a little on-camera taste test. Mmm! Oh my gosh, so hot, but very, very good. Mm, that's good not sweet at all I didn't get any sweetener in it but I kind of like my coffees a little bit more plain Jane anyway so if you're looking for a little good order um, get some cinnamon powder and steamed almond milk and just a hot or iced coffee it's really good hi littles hi Dashi. hi buddy hi what are you doing hi please ignore my house it's a freaking mess yeah, you give me no time to clean and you have me up all night. Yep, good thing you're cute. All right, let's take you outside. I bought him this little harness from Amazon. The brand is Voyager. And when it came in the mail, it was a little bit big on him, but I think he's growing into it now. I mean, it is still a little bit big, but I prefer to use this while he's out just because I think it is a little bit more comfortable for him than the collar. Sometimes he can like get out of the collar because he's so tiny. So we're gonna put you in your little harness. You're gonna love it. And then I'm gonna take him out. And he's like, mom, what is this thing? You're like, what is this? What is this thing? And he tries to bite it. He bites everything in sight. Oh my God, I have so much to update you guys on. We are in the teething era. He just bites everything and anything. My face, my shoes, no. We're trying to get him to be better but he just like bites everything also i should probably put the sweatshirt on because it's like negative 40 out not really but it's starting to get really cold out okay you ready you want to go for a little walkie want to go patty come on okay say i want to go outside time to go outside okay let's go outside it go Okay, come on, Dashy. Come on. Come on, Dash. He does this thing where he like doesn't come unless I call him. Come on, Baba. Come on, Dashy. Come on. Come on, Baba. Time to go potty. OK. 
Okay. Go potty. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Oh, you can do it. He went potty. I gotta go get a bag. No. Come on. Come on, Dashy. Come on, Baba. Come on. And this is just the reality of having a puppy, you guys. My house is a mess all the time. I mean, I'll clean it and then it becomes a mess again. I think it's just because this apartment is small, so it seems like it's messy when there's not much, especially when I have this up. It's just like so cluttered. But yeah, just the reality of having a little puppy. I'm sure people are probably watching this like, oh, honey, just wait until you have kids. I don't want to get there yet <laughs> because you make my house so messy. <gasps> no, you don't bite. No. He's teething so bad, he's trying to bite me. No! Yeah, you bite your toy. You bite your toy. Good boy. We have like dish towels on the floor because he loves biting towels, so we've like designated two for him, one in there and one in there. Oh, what are you doing? You biting your toy. Hi guys, so I've just been working from home and Dash is just chilling on my lap. No biting me. I have to show you how cute he is because he's just cutest little stinker. Cutest little stinker. And he's trying to bite me. No, you bite your toy. He's so unfazed. I have to work on, wow, his hairstyle's cute. I have to work on him biting toys and not us if you have any teething tips let us know We have all the toys in the world for this dog. We've got this one. Well, he's playing with it now. This one. We've got this one that makes noise. This little elephant. Oh, excuse me, little boy. And then we have this one that my cousins got him. We have so many. There's even more in his cage. And he only ever wants to play with what? My fingers. My fingers. You're so silly, Dashie. You're so silly. Ow, ow. No. No. He go. What are you doing? This one kind of makes some noise too. <gasps> he gets all excited. You get so excited. Yeah. He's so cute, Dashy. Good boy. I love when he's on his back. It's so cute. Oh, <gasps> what you got there? What you got there? What you got there, dishy boy? No, not my yeah, fingers. So, um, I know. And another thing he does is he eats my slippers. Let go. Let go my slipper. This slipper he eats. Oh. Hey! What's your toy? You can have your toy. Oh my god, he's crazy. Oh. No. Dash. Stop. Dash. No. No, drop it. As you can tell, he doesn't listen to me very well. <laughs> this is his crazy time. Dash, settle down. You're being crazy. Settle down. Relax. <laughs> oh, you're being crazy, dude. Look at He's going over there and finding my other one. Watch, he probably has it behind him. Oh, look at that. And what did I tell you? Anything that's mine, my feet, my shoes, he wants to eat. 
Not even his toys, but my slipper. He's in his crazy mood. These slippers were like five dollars from Amazon, so I really don't yeah. care. Take my slipper away. He comes back with my slide. You play with your toy. Dash. Look, look, he's gonna go over there. Ow! <laughs> Puppy mania, y'all. <laughs> Say hi! I'm being crazy in my crazy time. I'm being super playful. Hey guys, so it's a little bit later. As I'm sure you would have seen, I just got back from taking Dash out. Finished our day with work. I didn't really vlog because I was just like working from home. Um, but it's 5.50 right now. I want to make some dinner because I'm starving lately. I mean, we usually have dinner pretty early anyway. It's like 6, 6.30. But today I'm super, super hungry. Probably was from this workout this morning. So I'm going to make dinner tonight. And I'm going to do my Asian chicken lettuce wraps. I made these in a few videos before. And I always say it's like a staple weeknight dinner for me for us because it is such an easy meal it's usually I have all the ingredients on hand too and it's really healthy simple easy quick all the things so I'll do a little montage I'm gonna make dinner now I'll show you guys like what ingredients I use but to be honest everything that I use is pretty accessible like you you might have it at home um, but I do ground turkey that's usually what I'll do for the protein in this ground organic turkey romaine hearts as the base is like the lettuce cup I do a little bit of quinoa for some carbs so I just keep my quinoa in this mason jar and I'll probably make like a cup and a half or a cup probably one full cup for Matthew and I and then I'll probably have leftovers because actually one cup makes a lot and then for the toppings you can really do anything that you want I usually do so for my toppings I'm gonna do cucumber carrots cilantro and green onion like scallions and then for the sauces, I'll show you that too. Like this is literally the easiest dinner, you guys. So good too. So I use this gluten-free teriyaki sauce. This is non-GMO gluten-free and I'm not gluten-free, but this is one teriyaki sauce that I have found that has really clean ingredients. I really like it. Do you wanna go down? Hold on. Do you wanna get down? Come here. Okay. Dash wanted to make an appearance for the dinner haul. Um, but yeah, anyways, this teriyaki sauce has really clean ingredients and I try to look for ingredients. I don't really track macros. I mean, I never track macros. I don't really look at the nutrition facts just because that's not super important to me, but obviously if you like have to look at that, obviously do. But for me, ingredients are a little bit more important. So this is a really good one. The brand is Foodie, I think. I've used it in a few videos before, so I'm gonna cook with that. And then also I'm gonna do coconut aminos. Now this is something I use in pretty much all of my cooking as well, but this is a really good soy free alternative to soy sauce. And it also has 73% less sodium. So it doesn't give you that like super thirsty taste after you have Asian or Chinese food. A lot of times when I'll have that type of food and they use regular soy sauce, it makes me so thirsty because of all the sodium. And this one doesn't, plus it is so good. So those are the sauces I use. Ow, you're biting my finger. Uh, but yeah, let's cook up some dinner because I'm hungry and we'll feed you too. interrupt this program for an interrupter while I'm aesthetically making our dinner. Guys, you like this aesthetic setting? Ridiculous. Only oh. cutting things. No. Awesome my hand looks in it there, everyone. Look good in there. 
Ooh, just the way I stir. No. <laughs> <gasps> Dinner time for Dash. Mm. Dinner time. <laughs> Go have some dinner. Please well. No, you know what it is. We're all toe to are you playing? You. Grab it. Grab it. Play tug of war. Crap. This is a good tug of is war thing. Where's this tug of war thing? Like, I'll grab it. He likes playing with that. No, the other thing he likes better. But what? The, the other little, one? Yeah, the piece. You see it? This one on the floor? This one? Yeah, I'll just watch. You can get in this. You can right, tie it. Oh, yeah. You're supposed to tie it. Yeah, watch. Yeah, yeah, I'll get it. Oh. <laughs> You're getting it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Vicious dash. Woo! Get it, get it. Come on, get it. You get it, 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 you get it. We're watching a little bit of Netflix. We've been watching Queen of the South lately. It's actually really good. Oh, that last season we watched was season two finale. Wow. All right, oh, yeah, she's shot. Oh. I We're watching a show. I wanted to show you guys these cookies I'm eating. The Lessel Eva brand, which is like the brand that I always have for the popcorn. These cookies are super good. They're like mini soft ones. Oh my God. They are delicious. This flavor is the almond butter chocolate chip. They also have a snickerdoodle flavor and they are super, super good. Grain free, simple ingredients, low sugar, keto, paleo friendly. They're like super low carb too, which I don't really care about, but it's kind of shook at that. But yeah, the ingredients are really good. The only thing is they are not vegan because they have eggs and they also have ghee, but these are really good. I think you can get them at Whole Foods and their website. So, this is my little post-dinner treat. So good. And Dash is passed out. 